Access granted. The English cricket team won their second ICC T20 World Cup and their ninth overall ICC tournament trophy in the November of 2022. From the outside, it is a beautiful victory, no, uh, no doubts. But from the inside, it's a it's a it's a hard work of so many years, so many problems. And uh, let's deep dive into the inside story of English team uh, who won the T 2022 T20 World Cup. First, let's see England's road to the final in 2022 World Cup. England began their journey with a scratchy win versus Afghanistan before a shocking defeat to Ireland in a 2011 deja vu based on a Duckworth Lewis method. Their next match against old rivals Australia was called off even before the first ball was bowled because of persistent rain. This put England in a spot of bother for the second semi-final spot as the first was already occupied by the Kiwis. Fortunately, England won both their next matches was the Sri Lanka and New Zealand and qualified for the semi-finals on a superior net run rate as opposed to Australia. In the semi-final, they totally dominated the men in blue in a one-sided 10-wicket win. And now the biggest final. England edged out Pakistan, who, who also had entered the top four from a seemingly rock-bottom position, thereby ending their winning streak and emerging victorious for the second time in a T20 World Cup. Now let's see some notable players uh, who had the best contributions in this World Cup win. All, the, all of the players deserve credit, but uh, some of them, they were the top performers. Let's see here. Josh Butler. Josh Butler, who was appointed the captain of the English white ball team less than six months ago, didn't have the best start as a captain, losing the white ball series versus, versus India in South Africa and tying one versus South Africa before earning a much needed morale in the victory in Australia T20 series just before the World Cup. Josh Butler and England's highest scorer in the tournament. Just what do you expect from a captain? Leading both as a captain and as a batsman. Josh Butler, a World Cup winning captain. How does that sound? A, a wicket keeper winning a World Cup in his very first attempt as, I as a captain. We have seen that before. Ben Stokes, no comments. This man is a big match player and has proven it yet again. The same man who played an incredible match winning knock in the 2019 World Cup final has yet again been the star in another World Cup victory. I personally am really happy for uh, Benjamin Stokes who finally earned his redemption following his a narrow loss at the 2016 World T20 final. He's definitely one of the players that I would trust for a World Cup final in any format. Sam Curran the man of the match in the final and the man of the tournament as well. What could be possible? What could be possibly better for a 24-year-old young lad? Sam Curran was definitely England's best bowler this World Cup, being the highest wicket taker for England in this World Cup, including a Pfeiffer versus Afghanistan. Exactly, exactly what every team expects from a young lad who's about who's want to cement his permanent place in the team. Although I thought, uh, I initially thought that Ben Stokes should have got man of the match for his incredible innings in the final, but I then thought that Sam Curran, who's a, who's a young lad, who has plenty of uh, opportunities and is the future of England, this uh, man of the match and man of the series is definitely this is a morale boosting and every youngster dreams of earning man of the match, especially in the final and the tournament also. Alex Hills. Cricket fans know all about Alex Hill's uh, acts in the early 2019, missing out on the big World Cup triumph. Three years later, Hills is back with a bang. Jason Roy's poor form and Bayes Joe's injury made way for Alex Hills, and he ended as the second highest scorer for England in the 2022 World Cup. This is some stunning comeback. Alex Hills is finally a World Cup winning member too. Mark Woods' fearsome pace troubled the batters. And even though he didn't play the World Cup semi-finals and finals, I don't think that it hurts now because England have uh, emerged victorious. Chris Jordan, let's not forget his two substitute catches with definite in the crucial moments 
of the two, of two matches which definitely saved England's chances in the World Cup and Chris Jordan only actually played two matches the semi-finals and the final and in the semi-finals he picked up three crucial wickets even though he was expensive and in the final he was way better he was outstanding with his economy and wickets his redemption from the 2010-21 semi-final loss being one of England's leading T20 international bowlers Chris Jordan deserves to be a World Cup champion too now Moin Ali, also Moin Ali's 19 runs in the finals, even if it looks like a small number, absolutely invaluable innings because he made sure that England don't collapse further and he guided them towards the finishing line. And some of the members are two time World Cup winners now. Uh, also, credit to their coach Mats, who's a two time World Cup winner as a coach, so one with Australia's women team and one with English uh, men team. But before ending this video, there's one name that definitely deserves to be on this list and it's none other than England's former skipper, Owen Morgan. I said this in my video regarding Morgan's retirement video and once again I'm gonna say that this man lifted England's team from a rock bottom position from the lowest point ever and years later England is now leading white ball format force and they are the first team to hold both the ODI World Cup and T20 International World Cup at the same time. Morgan might not have won the World T20 as a captain, but he left behind a team which fulfilled this dream. That's how a leader is born. Well, I think that's enough for the video, and let's conclude the topic here. So let's see how they fare in the next ICC tournament. So I'm gonna see you guys the next time, and take care of yourselves, guys, and so long.